Hey, let's talk about the most popular fall flowering plant, the hardy mum. Hardy? Hardy, hardy. Hardy, hardy. The hardy boys. <laughs> the hardy boys. We're showing yeah. our age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 32. That's all you are. <laughs> <laughs> Times, you know. Anyway, hardy means that they are rugged, able to take the late fall temperatures. They're one of those plants. It's a perennial, but... Unlike other perennials, they don't flower until the fall. They look kind of ugly until they do. There actually is a, a weed. weed yeah. yeah, that's a, that is a chrysanthemum weed that it just, it just looks like the regular chrysanthemum. But <laughs> and what's the rule on weeds? A well, weed is a, weed a, plant. Is a, pla- a plant in their own place. That's right. That's it. So mums are started, like really, it, they're rooted in late spring. And then they are transplanted into larger containers. So the mums that you see aren't like, you know, overnight. (laughs) It takes some time. Yeah, it does. You know, and and all about mums, it's always been if you can get them early, if you can get them into flower early, and that the breeding behind mums has been how to get them to stores before Labor Day. Tell you what, our growers this year, even though they have varieties now that are they're not only called early, they're called early, early. Early, early. Yeah. early. <laughs> when you go to look on the sheet, it says E-E, early, early. Early, early. <laughs> what that? It's like way back when. I mean, it's supposed to be early, early. Yeah, and there's yeah. some that are, that are like full bloom right now, yeah. but most are green. I, I took a walk through one of our growers, actually a couple of our growers, and they look like salad, man. They, they have no color, no color. on them. They, yeah. There's maybe one bud cracking, but that's okay. I, that's kind of how I like to get them. I like to get them when there's just you know a little bit of color little showing. Because yeah. if you go and you put them in now, yeah. they're only six to eight weeks, it's, and then they're bloomed don't. out. So you don't get the longevity that they could have. So yeah. keep that in mind. And I think it was, you know, Dr. Jim last year, uh-huh. we did a section on mums. He said, hey, you forgot to suggest to people to buy mums in stages. Yeah, right. So if you see some mums in bloom, buy them. But then also get some that are in bud or tight bud, not showing color yet, because they'll serve their purpose into like even November. Yeah, continue. Yeah. And it takes a, they could take a light frost. Yeah. Not a, not a hard frost. Um, I'll tell you when when you, you look at mums again. It's now that it's early, early. Then there's early. Then there's mid season and late season. Wow. <laughs> Are you confused yet? <laughs> I tell you, you know, if you purchase a, a mom in August, let's say, like we won't bring them in until September, it will be done and declining in October. So. You know, kids are coming trick or treating. It's like, mommy, look at the dead plant. You know? <laughs> so that? that's what's it's a brown, happen. it's a brown mum. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, look at that plant dead, Julio. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> the later the plants, <laughs> the later the plants, the larger, and they will last longer. So they'll just get, they'll continue to grow. Um, they grow better, and it's cooler. You know, some of the tricks that they used to do to get mums to flower is that they would shade them. They'd literally put shade cloth over Over. the greenhouses, and that would trick them into blooming early. But the plants generally on the smaller side. They like cooler weather, and they don't like drying out. Um, All right, hello. Have you ever seen a mum that has all of its buds on the top of of the plant? And then all those buds, instead of looking upright and perky, yeah. are flagging down, down yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> they flagging. you don't get a second chance. There are some yeah. plants where they'll give you a second chance, like you know, like impatience or peace lilies inside, you know, oh, where shit. they'll wilt down and then they'll pop back up once they'll you pop. water them. It's just kind of them. It's like, hey, I'm warning you. Yeah. You better water me. Yeah. Moms, you don't get that second yeah. chance. They don't like to be dried out. And I'm not talking about just a, you know, a day. It's, it's like when people leave it go, yeah, two or three days, yeah, and, they are and then their, you know, their their soil is crispy critters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, look at that! We just looked. At, we have 
We have a snail in the studio oh, yeah? oh, that wow. was on one of the pots of the plants. <laughs> anyway, if so, that brings us to YouTube. If you want to see us and you want to see what we have in studio and watch our show rather than just listen to the show, you can go on to YouTube and find us on YouTube and please subscribe. Then you'll get it in your inbox every week. And we ask you, please give us a rating. Uh, we do appreciate that. Um, our sponsors appreciate that. And that uh, lets us know it's like a pat on the back. All right. Aaron. On YouTube, where do they find us? So they go on to YouTube. Yeah, just type in Bloomer's Home Garden. Bloomer's Home and Garden or home. Bloomer's in the Garden? Bloomer's Home Garden. Bloomer's Home Garden. There you go. All right. So go back to moms. Mm-hmm. They technically are perennial. They are. They come back. But man, are they ugly for most of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're just uh-huh. green like meatball things that are growing in your yard that you know if you're in spring you kind of forget that that's your mom's out there and like mm-hmm. i always suggest like if you want them to come back that you plant them in a different part of the yard like plant them towards the back of a landscape plant them in the backyard do somewhere else uh you know don't keep them in the front of your bed where you have them all fall because man they just are plain they are ugly, ugly ugly for for like eight to nine months you've got to deal with these things that just look like weeds yeah boy did i sound better yeah you do (laughs) well i don't like bums and and it's just for that reason um and that they need care they need care you're going to need to pinch them throughout the summer so and that here's how you take care of them like so okay so transplant them into like a, a back part of your landscape where they're not as noticeable in that when they do flower, they'll be like, oh, look at that. Their moms are here. Oh, yeah, so rather than, look, the moms are still here. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. So, But you've got to do three pinches in all. And the last pinch being the end of July. Now, what's a pinch? What's a pinch? It's the same as pruning. Uh, and that you basically take a third of the growth off each time. And that will start. So after your mom comes back to life and it's growing and it's probably eight to ten inches you pinch it back a third and that's where you'll get that real pretty dome shaped mound of flowers if you don't it's going to look a little irregular it's not going to be that same plant you may not even recognize it that it's going to be real tall and leggy leggy, yeah Yeah, so you do need to to go ahead and uh, pinch it back now, Julio says you should just throw them away. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> right? Yeah, right? That's you, right. They're not pretty. Yeah, you know, look, they cost you seven or eight bucks. Okay, maybe, maybe. They're, they're always a deal out there somewhere. I mean, we've got four-inch ones that are cheap. Just throw them away. Throw them away. You know, you have our permission on euthanize them <laughs> when they're done flowering because they're plants not puppies <laughs> you got that yeah. it's okay treat them as an annual uh get that use out of them enjoy them and you know it's like it's like almost like pumpkin spice lattes yeah, yeah. you know they're, they're around for the fall and they're good but it, but if once you get past that you know it's like all right i'm yeah. sick of the pumpkin yeah, exactly. um but uh with mums it's a kind of the same thing same thing so don't worry. Uh, don't don't feel guilty about throwing away a perennial. It's oh, yeah. it, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So, we understand you're you're all excited yeah. about mums. <laughs> <laughs> it you know, yeah. and you think it's like all right. So if there's if you buy five mums and they're say eight bucks, that's forty dollars. I went to McDonald's for breakfast the other day. Aaron and I talked about it because we both uh, use McDonald's for fuel. And it was 12 or $13 for breakfast at McDonald's. Aaron, I mean, I know you're the points guy. Where you're the points hoarder <laughs> and every deal you can. But you're spending close to that, right? Yeah. Nah. Nah. Oh, now, see, uh, how I do you get away? Because I, I use the coupons. There's always, uh, like, coupons on the apps. Like, Well, I'm uh, I'm using the same buy, stupid coupons, but you can one, only use one. You buy one breakfast sandwich, you get one free. You get your coffee. There's still, first like, thing five bucks. Yeah, but that's still eight bucks I pay total. Or yeah. two, two breakfast sandwiches and a coffee. Wow. <laughs> so 
I mean, it depends on how you shop because sometimes, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a value thing. I use thing. the reward stuff. Anyway, right. but the issue right. is is that the cost of renting a McDonald's breakfast for right. a very short time, you have the mums all fall along, mm-hmm. and that just enjoy them, get rid of them, don't feel the guilt, throw them out. After all, guys, they're plants, <laughs> not, not puppies. puppies. There you go, guys. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>